Now that we have a better idea who will be the first to receive the Pfizer vaccine, we're learning more about what you should expect if you get it. Jennifer Wass spoke with the chief of infectious disease at UF Health this morning on The Morning Show. Dr. Mobin Rathor says it's important to remember having a mild reaction to the vaccine is actually a good thing. It's your body's way of telling you that it's working to protect you against COVID-19. You may get a little fever, you may get myalgia, uh, uh, muscle aches, and you know, may feel a little, you know, not very well, headache, uh, and some swelling and tenderness and pain of the arm. That is to be expected. That is not an adverse effect. That is an expected reaction of the body to a vaccine. Dr. Rathor says the body's reaction is similar to what someone who received the shingles vaccine experiences. So it should not deter someone from getting vaccinated. He says from what we know right now from clinical trials, the vaccine should offer protection for up to four months. When might the recommendation come that we can give this to our kids? So I think the FDA is going to recommend it for uh, individuals 16 years of age and older. Uh, there were some concerns, and rightly so, mostly by the pediatricians on the advisory committee, that there's, there are not enough data for uh, children 16 to 17 years of age. There is no really expectation that this would be any worse in those age groups, uh, or they won't respond as well. I think as, as scientists and as physicians and advocate for children, we just want to make sure it is safe for children also. Uh, children are now starting to do this, the studies are starting at 12 years and older. It's going to be a little while before we know if this vaccine is safe and effective in children. Dr. Rathor says for that same reason, pregnant women should not get the vaccine right now since none has taken part in clinical trials. He says the same for anyone with severe allergies like those who carry an EpiPen, given the two nurses who suffer from life-threatening allergies experienced severe reactions when they received the vaccine in the United Kingdom earlier this week. Dr. Rathor also says it is critical that anyone who receives the vaccine makes sure to get both doses. He says while you have some protection after the first, you do not have complete protection until you get the second shot. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.